it's great to see you. Welcome to this barber shop. Uh, can I, before we begin with anything, interest you with a little spray or something to make you feel really fresh before we begin with your haircut? Can I treat you with something like that? Is that okay? This is a really unique spray. It's their own formula, which they do here, and this is for all of the customers, which come in. It's just, uh, it's nothing too overpowering, but I think you will really enjoy the pleasant aroma as you come in for your haircut. Okay, so, okay, just a little bit there for you. Right, a little bit there for you. Now, so I just allow that to move on your to Okay, so do you have an appointment here today? No? Oh, that's, I'm sure, is not a problem whatsoever. I'll be more than happy uh, to get you in. Now, I'm sure the current uh, chap who uh, cuts the hair here, uh, the owner here, the uh, is uh, away at the moment, so I don't know if you came in to see him. Uh, no. Of course, uh, I'm also fully trained uh, here to give professional haircuts to all the customers and welcome everybody uh, to get their haircut here. And hope you leave with an amazing one as well, of course. Well, yeah, I think there's so much you know, great things we could do here for you. Um, what we think, and just like a trim of some sort, we'll get you gowned up and, uh, and uh, we'll freshen up all around there and just really compliment your look at the moment. I mean, it looks great already at the moment, but I think we can make it look even better there for you. So if you're happy for me to do it, I'm more than happy if you want to wait for my colleague, uh, the owner. He will do it for you there as well. Of course, it would be my absolute pleasure to do it for you. So I'll pop the gun on you first. This looks like a really nice gown. I think only the best for all of our customers here. And uh, you are no exception, of course. So let me just pop this gown on there for you. It'll make you nice and comfortable. And pop that on there. All right. Is that a comfortable fit there for you? Great, well, it looks really comfortable for you and it really compliments you there as well and really suits you. Yeah, well that's great. And so what I'm going to do is just uh, dampen your hair a little bit there, okay? And I can begin straight away with the trimming. So, have you been to this fine establishment before? You have? Oh, so you know how amazing it is. Of course, the, the very best of haircuts here. Okay, we we'll just down a bit there. See, I don't work with too much spray in here because I think we just do a little gentle pull down your hair there. This is what I would call a finger brush. So it's pulling down all of your hair there naturally. And I can uh, use what I would say is probably the very best scissors here in the barber shop. Uh, these are gold plated scissors again. Okay. I think these are for one of the lords which come in here. Um, I know that the, the owner here, he loves these so much. He treasures these. So I think uh, we'll use them uh, on you today. So you really feel like you're having an amazing trim. So I will probably just smarten up here smarten up around there and the top there as well okay if there's anything you need just let me know okay whilst we work along here and really give you an amazing haircut okay so we just put a little bit there right i think we just get the comb wait no 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 what are they i was just you don't use this like that uh, for a customer like this. No, 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 no. I, oh, forgive me one second. We just I saw something. Oh, I see. Those uh, are only reserved for Lord Farquhar and important. And this, no, please, just get those scissors. Just get boss back to me. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to sanitize these and, and uh, get them completely oh, I do apologize. Um, these are Lord Farquhar's scissors. Yeah. And they are not to be used for. That's not what they use them for. In fact, uh, my apologies. Oh my goodness, you've you've given them the, the right idea. Okay, I, I think it's uh, your time to go. Thank you. 
much too much to stand at the beaches then, but uh, I'll, I'll, I don't think you really do leave much you to it. Okay, so if you can just, uh, we'll, we'll catch up later, okay? Perfect. Uh, thanks again. Uh, I'm so sorry for, for the mix up there. What on earth is going on here? So I would, uh, I'm afraid my stand in there has just given you uh, the wrong thing, shall we say. You're not, in fact, meant to use those items for your haircut, so we're snip, 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 snipping around you there. Uh, those are, in fact, for uh, our patron, uh, Lord Farquhar, who comes in and gets his haircut, and uh, they're not for people like you. I mean, there's quite a substantial class difference there. I'm afraid also that we're going to have to take that off you there as well. Goodness, did, did he cut any of your hair there as well? Well, he said something, so you don't mind if I just brush that on you, do you? No, that's, that's, don't, don't worry about it. I'll just return your, your personal pieces back to you here. Just onto you there. Is that, is that okay for you? Just keep brushing. I mean, it's yours. It's whatever's on here is yours. So I'd like to return it back to you. Thanks. And I'm going to have to get this a complete clean. This is, of course, for our patron, Lord Farquhar, again, who is an exceptionally important customer of mine. He has all of his own things, and they're not reserved for uh, customers such as yourself. I just return the items back to you. I mean, of course, this, this is yours. All of these bits on here, just make sure they go back to where they belong. And that's on you. I said, don't worry about your clothes, you won't really make too much of a mess. There's nothing important what you're wearing. As I can see, I haven't been to the suit, suit store shop around here. That's where you're in dynamics too. And uh, smarten yourself up with uh, a suit. Uh, a navy suit or something, or perhaps a little bit more classy in the other suit shops here. Okay, so if we just return all that back to you, I think that's fine. Um, I do apologize for the mix up there, but then whose fault is it really? I don't think it was um, my stand in the. Um, I just had to go and attend to Lord Farquhar's uh, personal business there. I think it might be coming down later. Um, so uh, I don't think you were actually booked in here at all, were you? No. no, no, I don't think you were. That is exceptionally rude of you. You must book when you get a hair appointment, okay? No matter what you're doing. Was it because I wasn't here, so you thought you'd get away with it? Is that what you thought? I know we have a reputation here for being the best, the very best barber shop in the business, okay? But uh, that doesn't mean you could take advantage of uh, the situation when I'm not here uh, attending to important Lord Farquhar business. You are not important, okay? You're not important at all. Uh, so I probably would not have uh, booked you in here whilst I was away. I'd rather have nobody in here. My friend was just minding the pop shop whilst I was away. Okay, so that's our pleasantries uh, over. You are sitting here, of course, and you are probably here for haircut. Okay, yeah, a haircut. Okay, that's that's enough from you. I will humor you, okay? I will humor you just a little bit and apply it to your haircut. Okay, I will give you the first class perfection experience, okay? And we'll give you that haircut because you are, of course, in here and that is our reputation. And I can have anyone noticing someone like you walking out with a terrible haircut, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come a little bit closer there. i going to give you a little bit of an examination. All right, we're going to check and see what we can do for this a thing which you call a haircut here. Okay, so we'll have a little look in there. All right, and this is where I determine what I can actually do here and if I can do something good, right? So we're 
do a little bit of trim there. I think a gentle trim across there as well. Okay, incoming spray. I haven't put your gown on yet, but your clothes, um, they're, they're already ruined. Oh, forgive me, I have the catcher on there. Okay, and I think a little bit on here. Right, yeah, so what I'm thinking here for you, I don't want to overcomplicate things because this motif you have here is already quite overcomplicated already, but what I will do, I will do a gentle trim along here on your, on your right side there, and then I will do a gentle trim on, on your left side there, okay, I think I could do something good there, right, and then on the top, we'll just take out the volume there, we could do a bit of a, of a clipper trim up there, being a skilled and talented barber, I can use many tools to accomplish the desired look, which I think would look good on you. Currently, I would say this does not look good on you. No. Uh, I hope my colleague didn't tell you about the special technique we use for Lord Farquhar. <laughs> good. good. As long as I didn't say that, that of course is very confidential and not for people like you. Okay. Lord Farquhar has a very particular type of haircut and we've got to make sure that uh, you don't have that type of haircut. Right. Okay, pop that over there. Right. I think we can work with this. So now I've got your clothes all wet, perhaps I can pop on a more suitable gown for you. Right. This is the gown we use for customers like yourself, I'm afraid it's it's been kept. We like to treat our, our pop shop gowns as like a, a fine, mature wine, and it gets better with age, which means we just leave it. We don't do anything with it. Uh, if we use it, and then we just leave it again and hope that it improves with age. Uh, so this has been used many a times, but you can be assured that with with maturity it comes even better perfection. Um, so this uh, dirty gown will suit you perfectly and uh, really complement probably what you're wearing now at the moment, okay? So I will just come behind you there and pop this on for you. Right. It is. that on view there. Right. Oh dear, it's even it's horrible around the back here as it is at the front. Right. So I'm just going to attach this to your neck there and make sure we protect for some reason your items of clothes here. Sort of hand movements and 
things go on here. This is only the work of a professional barber. Okay, making sure that all the hand movements are appropriate and all water is evenly displaced on your hair. Let me have a check there.
as a bummer. And a little bit more here, there's still plenty of moisture in your hair. That's either the water or just your general lack of hygiene on there. Let's keep it in that moist in there. Okay, we just continue with what you're doing on your right side there. You do the same here on your left. Make sure it's all perfectly even. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to haircuts. smartened you up uh, ever so much uh, from what you had on previously I mean anything would have been a great improvement of course I think what we can do now is just move a little bit of a clipper work there for you right we can just sharpen up those edges there and make it look presentable and smart so we will make this refined we we'll make this refined there as well we'll do a great job with this to select in the right thing I want to triply make sure that we've got the right adjustment here for you so I'd say what we've done there we've popped on with this little work potentially down to number four so we could sharpen up with number three we don't want any fades in there for you because I don't think that's just going to look good on you so we've got number eight and number six there we don't want number six so I think what have we got number four there and we could do it between number four and number seven there as well so we don't want number seven there actually you want to actually want a number five but we could use number six number six could be uh, quite useful for you but we'll start off with number five and then we'll gradually work on to number four there for you as well okay
if you're gonna keep nice and still for me though. If you just keep nice and still, I'm just gonna do your edges there, right? of your haircut and uh, I think we'll just finish off with uh, just smarting that trim up there just the final bits here this will really make all the difference the most important part at the end of your haircut is making sure that the barber shop or the barber who's cutting your hair is a perfectionist and luckily for you I am that and that is why we are renowned here for being such well, the best barber shop in the business and that's what you'll experience here along with your first class superior haircut and of course this haircut has now become a superior haircut because I've cut it for you. Okay. To, if you can keep nice and still for me, perhaps just look straight ahead. This is point in the haircut where I'm going to 
to just inspect all areas of you and I think everything is looking really great there everything is nice and level in there let me check on this side here as well that it can do just a little bit just a gentle one in there right probably a little bit of a gentle one in there as well all right okay perhaps a little bit on top so it comes to the styling part of your haircut now purely because you look like haven't washed when you came in here then perhaps uh, the styling part is something that I usually give a miss but because we've given you such an amazing haircut which is about to be perfected I'd like to do something with it so it will complement with the work that I've just done on you and I'm sure with a new look like this and this looking sharp and that's all really well trimmed in there and you can, this part of your hair here and here look amazing this is just 100 percent overhaul and improvement for you and of course this is the sort of thing you'll expect here i would be able to only i can give you a haircut like this no other barbershop can do it okay and uh, that's why you can't uh, come in here you can go to all the other barbershops but this is uh, an exclusive barbershop so you should expect these sorts of results and looking good so let me tell you what i'm thinking here for you right I'm thinking that we should probably dampen up your hair here, right? We're gonna apply some water, a little bit of excess water in there, and then we're just gonna slick it back, right? So if I create a nice quiff going over there, this is gonna be nice and full, and then it's gonna go over the top there. It's not gonna be too big, it's not gonna be uh, too overpowering there. And we're gonna just flick that over the top, okay, like so. We're going to dampen it all there. The water mixture I use here will set. It's a very special, unique type of water. It's not gel and it's not hairspray. This is our own blend here. So whatever I pop in here, this will hold it. As soon as you go outside, that will be activated. That will be a really clean hold there without looking like there's any gel in there whatsoever. Okay, so it's of course a special brewed um, English box shop. Uh, formula shall we say right so i think we can do that for you have to activate the formula first This is going to ensure your haircut 
has been utilized to its maximum potential of looking amazing and good. I think we've got a complete transformation here for you. Right, I think that's how I would do it for you. I think that's what works for you there. Okay, that's exactly what I'll do for you. I wouldn't do anything else actually. In fact, this was the first haircut which I thought would look good on you when you walked in. You know, everyone else would probably think you were a bit of a lost cause in there. I think that's what we'd, we'd do for you there. Perfection. That there. And in here, just a little bit of smoothing out there. Well, once again, I've completely amazed myself with the work which I've managed to achieve here. And of course, I don't get rep reputation like I do with uh, with not doing jobs like this. And that's why people like Lord Farquhar come and get their haircuts here for, of course, the executive marvelous superior first class experience of a haircut. Uh, you got probably a third class and think of what you got included in that third class, which of course is the very best thing. So you can only imagine what a first class experience would be here in the barbershop. But I feel like that is a little bit out of your press range, okay? So I think that is a complete haircut there for you. So let me explain my work, what we've done here for you. Right, so we've, like we said, we've sharpened up around there, we've layered along there, we've used scissor work on both sides, on the top part there, we've cleaned up and now created that amazing volumized quilt there for you, but nothing too substantial or in your face or look at me, it's just the perfect amount of quiff there for you. Everything is done to perfection here and you couldn't possibly do anything else that haircut because it's been done so perfectly and it looks so good on you if it wasn't you i would really would like to take a picture of that and perhaps pop on my wall of a patron fame there because of course these are all the patrons which have come to um, the barbershop here and had a haircut we've had various people from the local areas and things like that and we'd like to show our patrons here at the barbershop we appreciate them you never know perhaps that uh, you all get your face on the wall someday if you turn yourself into a, a, a more upper class individual shall we say okay so let me take that gown off there for you and Gives me a lot of hair in here. You don't mind if I just pop that on you, do you? Great. I don't want to dirty my floors. I think uh, Lord Farquhar is actually uh, coming in today. It's not specified, he usually calls him up, but uh, uh, not today. I don't think sometimes he does like the surprise visits. Um, did you just hear horse and cart? Uh, with haste, with haste, come on. Let's get this out. I think Lord Farquhar has just turned up. Right, let's get this done. See, too. Right. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just going to brush in your face now. Okay, brush, 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 Lord Farquhar, Lord Farquhar, it's so great to see you again. 